hello 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 all and welcome to the good witch if you are new welcome welcome if you are returning welcome back please remember to like share subscribe and comment in love this is your leo intuitive tarot reading for the month of november 2021 okay yo it is going to be a beautiful month you might have to make some adjustments, but this is a beautiful month for you. You have a lot of unexpected surprises. You have people that are showing up that you've been calling for. Your finances are going to be not necessarily the way you imagine them, but they're going to be amazing. Like, oops. Yep. You're going to have to just stick around and see. Let's watch the entire video. I am excited for you. Okay. All right. Oh, and whoever it is for y'all who are, y'all have some people that have been, you know, making life a little bit more difficult for you than they have to be. Tell them they don't want the smoke because y'all got it this month. They do not want the smoke with you. That is not what they want. They need to be careful who they piss off and make sure they know it. Now, let's look into your love. Cause we're gonna operate in love let's look into love okay um we're probably gonna touch out touch back on that i don't want this they don't want the smoke thing a little later so make sure you stick around okay the eight of swords the knight of wands in reverse so adjustments are required you're in the third quarter of a lot of situations and this is your love and your financial situation that you're you're probably in the third quarter of there is some people trying to cause interference into your love life you're lacking passion about your love life and you're almost you're not you are almost ready to settle and it looks like you changed your mind you found the strength that you needed or you will find the strength that you need this month to move forward and not settle. Someone thought that they could push you around and make you settle for them or you just do what you say because they you'll do what they say because you didn't want to be alone because someone looks like they're giving you an ultimatum and they forgot who you were. Sorry, I feel sorry for that person. They forgot who you were. They forgot the whole lion. They forgot the main. They forgot, honey. So you didn't. You faltered for a minute and then you remembered who you are. And you went back to focusing on what you truly want, your desires. This is your month. You'll falter a little bit in knowing your worth and knowing who you are because of interference from outside people in your love life. And you'll contemplate on settling. But at the end of it, you will not. Let's look at some specifics, okay? Y'all please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. So your love life this month is a peaceful one. Eight of Cups in reverse, definitely not settling. You have the Two of Swords. Anyone who is not seeing you as the emperor that you are. You have multiple people coming into your life right now that want to date you, that want to be with you, that want to entertain you. There's three in particular. One, gorgeous person. They don't know what the hell they want. They just don't know. Two, they know exactly what they want. And it could be you. They want, they know exactly what they want and they know the way in which they want it. Just like you do. And y'all could be it for each other. But you're going to have to make some adjustments because what they want isn't wrapped up in a person. It's wrapped up in an energy. It's wrapped up in a behavior. It's wrapped up in your behaviors. It's wrapped up in your mannerisms. It's wrapped up in your goals. It's wrapped up in your life. And you guys will have to make adjustments for each other. Neither of you are good at that. But if you did, 
it would be a beautiful situation. So you have person A, they're gorgeous, they're beautiful, they're handsome, they're charming, have no idea what they want, very, very flaky. Person two knows exactly what they want, knows exactly who they are, just like you. You're going to have to adjust for each other for this one to work, right? Person three. This is this is the this is the most interesting one to me. Person three. And person three is the only one that can be reversed roles. Person three is basically perfect for you. And you are perfect for them. Ideal. One of you is not ready to commit. Not wholeheartedly. One of you still feels like they have things to do. And that being in a relationship will slow you down or slow them down. Other than that, ideally y'all match energies, y'all match wants, y'all match desires. And this person, even if it's someone new that's coming in, You'll meet them and you'll feel like, oh my God, this is perfect. And then they're going to hit you with, it is, but not right now. Now, what you could do is make adjustments. I understand this is a perfect situation. This is rare. So what do we need to do to make sure that you're not challenging your purpose, that you're not changing this, that you're not doing that? What do we need to do to make this work out so that we can have this kind of happy every day? So that we can have this kind of prosperous every day? So that we can have this kind of love, this kind of light, this kind of life every day? What do we need to do? That's an adjustment that you may be willing to make for the right person. And that right person doesn't mean it's someone you've never met. It could be someone you've met or it could be someone brand new, but you'll know them when you know them, when you're around them, when you get up in their presence, you'll know. It won't be a question. Your response to them will be everything. Because if you do that angry Leo thing where I'm not getting my way, so I'm going to roar at you, they're not, they're not going to receive it well. Because as much as they know that everything about you is perfect for them and everything about them is perfect for you, they have this set of ideals and expectations that if you don't meet, they're not going to do it. And like I said, this could go both ways. You could be the one that's very well not ready to just stop what you're doing and jump into something because you met this person who you feel like is ideal. And if you tell them that and they roar at you or they snap at you or they throw a temper tantrum, then you're, you're going to react to that poorly. And you guys will mess up a very beautiful situation. You might come back to it later, try to fix it, but you're going to mess it up because this person is a lot like you and neither one of you forgets anything. It's going to be hard for them to let it go. But you'll have multiple people coming in, offering you emotions this month. And these could be all fun and successful situations. So you're going to have to choose wisely. A lot of you are going for that first person. That flaky person. That um, pleasure person person gives you the six of cups energy it's fun it's bells and whistles you never know what's gonna happen and you keep looking back to see if oh you keep looking back to see if they're ready and this is a very emotional person and you like it because it's exciting but you gotta decide whether you well, you can have excitement and stability you can. You just have to do it with the right person. 
So, Leo, look at your three options of people this month. You won't even have to choose this month. You could actually, honestly, without, if you don't get into a relationship or you don't say I'm exclusive with anybody this month, neither of them are actually just going to run away forever. So you don't really have to make a decision right now. You can kind of test the waters to see what you like, but I would suggest that you be honest because that number three, that number three that acts like you and that's perfect for you and that you're perfect for, that won't tolerate the nonsense. If they find out on their own that y'all aren't exclusive, now they will leave and they won't return. Now, if you make it known from up front, they might not like it, but they'll understand it and they'll respect it. So make it known. Y'all please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love as we get ready to look at your finances. Okay, so your finances, you have the Four of Cups. Sorry. You have the Four of Cups. The Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Five of Discs. So, you're worried about your finances this month, but not because of lack. Not because of lack of finances. You're worried about your finances this month because of lack of passion. You're worried about your finances this month because you're growing tired of doing what you're doing to create wealth and create finances. Finances are fine. They're balanced, overflowing. You're good. But you grow tired of what you're doing and you want to change. And maybe you don't need to change what you do. You just need to change how you're doing it because you're feeling unfulfilled. You have to adjust the time and manage your time better. Um, your focus right now needs to be on fulfilling yourself outside of your, outside of your job, outside of your career. Yes. You might feel fulfilled in it later, but right now you're just not passionate about it. Maybe you need to start a new project. Maybe you need to expand it, take a class, do something to regain your interest. But you're not feeling fulfilled in it, even though it is going to be bringing you income like your finances should be fine. But your passion for what you do is lacking. And it's making you worry because you don't know how long you can keep this up. You don't know how long you can keep doing something that's so monotonous, that's so just, uh, I don't want to go. Uh, I don't want to do it. Uh, I don't want to click the button. Uh, I don't want to talk to this person. Uh, I don't want to see this building. Uh, I don't want to go open that door. Uh, I hate my computer. And you feel like it's draining you and it's dragging you down. Adjustments are required. So you're going to have to adjust the way you see, do, and exert your energy I think that's why you're focusing so much on your relationship or relationships entertainment because you need something to do outside of the monotonous thing that you're doing to generate income and that's cool you can do that you can do that and that would be fun for you that would be fun for you I'm going to suggest that you start a something that you care about if your interest is in motorcycles or your interest is in cats or your interest <laughs> is in travel, start a blog, start um, a Facebook group, start something to where you can entertain yourself with something that you care about and you can give people information on what you care about And hopefully eventually make revenue from it but right now you just need to have something that you're passionate about okay and it'll lighten up that need for passion at work it'll lighten up the need for passion at work because just leaving would be irresponsible and you pay for it later your message from the divine Change is inevitable based on the seeds that we've planted. So you're getting ready to harvest some seeds that you've sown. And they're going to come to you in an amazing way. 
in an overflowing way. This is going to be a good month for you. You've sown a lot of good seeds and you've done a lot of good things for people that they don't even know about. There's a friend that you have been there for, that you have talked to, that you have helped through difficult situations. And there's someone who has also done those things for you. You're going to be paying back people that have done positive things for you. Been there for you in your time of need. And people are also going to be paying you back for things that you've done for them and helping them out in their time of need. So that reciprocity is going to make you overflow that giving of seeds and seeds being given and giving and giving people are going to be giving unto you there are people friends there's a couple of friends that you have not seen in a few years that miss you dreadfully they remember the little things about you and you guys might have fallen out over a creative venture or something that you guys were supposed to be doing together something simple it wasn't something massive like they didn't try to kill you they didn't sleep with your wife or your husband they just it was something minor and they want a blank slate with you and they will be back in your life to try to get that blank slate with you please remember to like share subscribe and comment in love y'all um I love you and I love you just because I can. If people can hate for no reason, I can definitely love for no reason and so can you. I'm announcing on the end of the monthly videos for all of you that the mentorship program that I closed down in October and I was going to put it back to its regular price because it was a third of what it cost is going to stay that way until winter, until winter solstice. And although when it's when it's full, it's full. I'm not sure how many spaces there are left available, but the mentorship program is reopened and it will stay open until winter solstice or there's no more space, whichever comes first. Hopefully the no more space things comes first. That's just for me. Um, but that's for people who wants to own, who want to own or start or scale their spiritual business. Learning how to be and stay healthy spiritually in a society, in a business world that is not conducive for that. Um, also, people who need certain types of healing and need certain types of growth, direction, and clarity, mentorship program is for you as well. Now, if you just wanna book your personal readings or coaching sessions, all those links are in the description box below. And I want to talk to y'all about conjure candles because they are becoming more and more popular. Um, I've done them forever, but I don't mass produce. You can go on Google now and type in conjure candle and get a candle for $20 and you don't know what's in it what's it gonna cause or what, what it's tied to. So be careful, that's a very dangerous trend. And somebody can give you a candle, sprinkle some cinnamon on it, tell you it's gonna give you money and you just wasted $30. It smell pretty, maybe. But if you want an actual conjure candle that creates change, the link is in the description box below. And I don't make them until I talk to you because they're designed specifically for you and your needs we don't we we're, we're we're real over here no need to have a whole bunch of advertisements and all this other kind of stuff we we've been doing this for a while I didn't start this when I started YouTube I started YouTube because I wanted to give something back to y'all and I'd love it and I'd love it all the time and I'd love it for you and I'm here for you but I want you to know if you do it do it the right way click the link in the description box below and get your conjure candle join the mentorship program it's helping so many people 
I'm so proud of my loves that have come through our mentorship program and now they're off and moved to other countries and they're starting their spiritual boutiques or they moved to the city or they moved out to 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 the Midwest and they've started these amazing spiritual companies and they've left their nine to fives and all those great things. These are amazing. So no, that that is available for you below. And anything that you purchase under the YouTube video, like the pillows, the meditation uh, beads, the yoga mats, the t-shirts, whatever is down here, anything that's purchased from from anything down there that you see that you click and you buy goes to the Good Witch Global, which is our nonprofit that right now our main focus, we're building a school right out about an hour and a half outside of Accra in my home village of Gamoa Adam. And this school will be a school for about 140 something villages. It's a farming community, it's a small community, but it's beautiful and they don't have the resources to do it themselves. So guess what? The Good Witch Global is doing that for them and with them to grow them as we grow ourselves. So know that anything you purchase goes to that. And I thank you and I love you and I appreciate you. And thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your life. And thank you so much for being a part of mine. Some of y'all need to listen to the beginning of that reading twice. Choose wisely or don't choose at all and just be honest about it, okay? Please remember again, like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. Peace, y'all. From the good bitch.